So for this episode of being womanly, er, for me, yes, I'm focusing on my eyebrows and my entire face and just stepping up my game, stepping up my game towards, why do I keep saying that? So with this episode, my focus is really enhancing my makeup skills, really learning from professionals, really learning just to apply foundation, eyebrows, everything to my face properly. You know, really enhance my skills so I go from basic all the way to way better. You know, that's my goal. And for me, being womanly, Makeup's not a requirement. <laughs> First and foremost, makeup's not a required thing. I just love to like wear makeup to enhance my looks. I love to wear makeup to play with color, to, you know, glow, things like that. To have just some fun, you know, just to, you know, have a little pop of color to the lips, to the eyelids. It's really nice. And I feel like for me, it's like a womanly thing to have like a great, you know, makeup foundation put together. And it shows for my goals that I give a damn about my appearance, that I give a damn about what I like foundation wise, what I like makeup wise. And that's really important to me. And I don't want to be basic makeup gal anymore. All right, hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, <laughs> I wish I could sing. Um, so I am being womanly, er, and in order to do that, I have to step up my game, my makeup game, especially, and that's my intention. So today. I am going on a little adventure, first time ever, and I'm going to the Benefit Brow Bar to get my brows managed and handled so that I can finally start applying my brows on way better and have a better presentation of my face. And with getting my makeup done, brow-wise at least, I'm really trying to like learn techniques, learn to better my makeup skills, and you get to follow along.
Hi, so I'm back from the brow bar and these are the final results. So in my early years, when it came to like high school and college, makeup was like a requirement for me because I had hyperpigmentation and acne and I really wanted to hide, you know, hide all that as best as I could. And I mean, this hyperpigmentation that I have now, the acne scars that I have now, um, they're not as bad as before, even though I have a lot of it. Like, they're not as dark, they're not as, like, prominent, you know, on my face. And, but when I was growing up in school, try walking in any school, any college environment being different, looking a little different, you know. You're bound to get comments, you know, and I just wanted to hide with makeup and that's why, like, I wasn't really a sit down, learn about makeup kind of gal. I was like a throw makeup on my face and go to school. Yeah, that was me. Didn't work out all the time and of course, if I didn't have makeup, I would just... If I didn't have my foundation, I wouldn't go to school. And there's been plenty of times I went to school, events, wherever, having the wrong foundation. It was either chalky. It was either made me look gray and ashy. It was either oxidized and I looked red, you know, because of the undertone. It was a miss. A miss, a miss, a fail, and no more, like... I'm too old for that. <laughs> Way too old to be messing up with my foundation color, you know? That's the foundation of my entire look. So, with being womanly, I want to embrace having a better makeup skills, better quality makeup, and I want to take you with me to see me enhance my beauty and, you know, enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to my appointment, my makeup appointment. I'm trying not to be late, my bad, but this should be interesting. This is my first time, like, completely bare face. Acne, acne. Really like Amazon bulk ones.
hello. Hey. It's me. It's really, it's really Stacy. You know, with just a new enhanced womanly look. And I am thrilled. This was my first time ever getting my makeup done professionally. I went to Sephora, they hooked me up. Um, the Sephora art, makeup artist who helped me was just so knowledgeable, especially of my dark skin. Um, I had, a, I'll say it, I had a white makeup artist and she wasn't doing any, oh, um, well, let's see. Uh, no, she was diving deep. Girl, got let me get this. Gonna like this color. <laughs> Add this, and I was like, "Thank, you. thank you, Jesus, for coming through." You see me doing this womanly videos, stepping out of my comfort zone, and you're hooking me up, God. I'm, I'm down. I'm loving it. Yes. Yeah. So like, this is my look. And this is an everyday look. This is, you know, some pop of color, some nice highlight, you know, good foundation that matches my skin tone. So I don't look, you know, ashy. I don't look super red in the face. I don't have like flat, mushy, muddy color. <laughs> and it really just makes me feel so good. Feeling that womanly essence, that feminine essence, like embracing it so much. Um, I really feel just so good. And I know, like, makeup is really powerful, it can really enhance your appearance. And learning more about how to do my makeup properly learning how to add even like more colors, you know, like not sticking to one palette. Uh, I really appreciate, you know, the help I got from the makeup artist. She was so knowledgeable and now I have even more knowledge about blending, about, you know, shading, even having a little bronzer. They have bronzer for dark skin. Didn't know, now I know and yes, I'll be using it. And I just feel like this is me, Stacy, being more womanly, embracing myself, and just exuding, you know, feminine qualities even more. Stepping up my pussy game. Stepping it up, way, 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 way up. Up, more and more. Someone's gonna walk by and like, ooh, she's stepping up her game. Come through. Come on, come walk through. We wanna see you, you. Stacy, you got it. Mm-hmm. Embracing it. This is who I am. This is me, being womanly. Stepping out of my comfort zone, bit by bit. Day by day. It's a process. I got flaws, but here I am to share them. Here I am to do better. Here I am learning and embracing and enjoying the process. So thanks for watching this new episode. I hope you have a little laugh. I hope you can see the chisel contour. I didn't want to be extreme. I want to see you know, a natural everyday look that I can actually pull off that I like and I didn't go based off of anybody else's picture, Instagram, none of that. I was telling the makeup artist like, okay, I want this, I want that. I want to just, you know, look as natural as possible, but have some pops, have some pop elements, you know, where I can just Mm -hmm. Where I can have a little, you know, pop. Like, how do you pop your lips? I gotta get better at, you know, doing some lip popping. But just have that highlight just come on. 
just having these false eyelashes actually stay on, actually apply properly, having some eyeshadow with a little wing. This isn't, you know, wing. It's just a little wing. You know, just a little wing. I'm learning. I'm bettering myself, being more womanly with my makeup. Enjoying my life and myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay tuned for more episodes and me being quirky er. <laughs> Yes.